used to think if I couldn't find hope. Love is the most beautiful thing in this world. And when you're in love, you're on top of everything. <laughs> you wish nothing would go wrong. The only thing you want to do with this thing is to nurture it. Make it bear fruit. Oh my God. When you're in love, whoo, it always just keeps a smile on your face. Is the way you are happy. You just wish it. Oh, I want to call this person. I wish this person calls me. You know, you are just like in between. You don't know even where you are. <laughs> but it comes a point where the relationship might be toxic. It might be not for you because sometimes relationships are not for us. And the thing that we do is like we don't want to let go. We want don't want to be failures. You just keep on staying there even if it is toxic even if it is abusive and this is where today we are going to tackle moving on hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl mommy and this is another episode on inspiration mondays i hope guys you guys are good i hope you are doing fine i'm also doing okay so today we are going to be tackling about moving on what does it mean by moving on Moving on is the hardest thing to ever do in a relationship because when you're in this relationship, you don't think like there will come a time where it will be like, it's done, you're done, you're walking away, he's walking away, you're going to find somebody else and it's a healing process and it's okay. However you're going through it, it's okay because moving on means you need to accept the change and you need to focus on another thing and accept. The, uh, the thing that we do and most of us we don't it's like we don't accept it we are not there we are not ready to accept and move on and accept thing and stop wishing you know i wish i did this maybe he would have not left me i wish i did this maybe we'll still be together i wish i forgave him stop wishing just move on and accept before i even give you tips on how to move on i want people to know that it's okay to take your time this is a back and forth thing back and forth thing and at sometimes you even think like oh all the good times that we had and actually they rule out the bad times so what you need is forget about it the good times were there always cherish them for me i always cherish mine because i was in a six-year relationship where it was what's up with this shit it was like a back and forth back and forth you know you go back and people actually ask you why are you going back and actually have a friend of mine who asked me jackie six year relationship umetokana seta fulani umetokana na mtoto fule and that that one actually broke me down ha hiyo ndio ina ku breaking it breaks everything in you where you have nurtured you have forgiven this person you want to love this person you want to bring this person closer but it comes a point where you just call it quits and you have to be ready yourself let no one tell you like now it's time for you to move on no they don't know what you're going through they don't know what you're feeling so it has to be you to feel like now i'm comfortable i am going to move on i am going to leave i am done the door is closed when the door is closed that is the only time that you can move on and i'm going to help you guys to move on because i'm going to give you my tips that i used for myself to move on because it's not easy i had those moments of i want to go back and i actually went back and then out and then you're back and then you're out again until i told myself like jackie you cannot do this anymore it can never be up and down up and down in and out in and out what are you doing girl what are you doing girl wake up wake up and i woke up and these are the tips i use that i'm going to share with you today number one is accepting the truth and moving on because accepting the truth like for me it's very hard like you have moved on that's actually how i feel so you need to accept that this person has moved on this person is not for me he will never be for me and this is it this is the end of the road accepting is the hardest but we have to do it actually you have to do it if you want to move on you have to accept that this person has moved on or you have moved on and that is it 
number two it's going to be a difficult one because it's like changing environment or changing the people you hang around with which is very difficult because in some circles you kind of share friends you know when you're dating these friends became your friends if your friends became his friends so at some point even friends are like now who are we going to hang out with is it him is it her do we call both of them or do we leave both of them so sometimes you really need to change your surrounding give yourself some space you know find new friends find new people to hang around with try new things just for a little bit try try to do something that is out of the law just try something number three is distance yourself for a while take your own time it's like taking your own time and uh if like for me i found out like i used to like check what is he doing now now that we're not together oh my god he's posting on facebook he's here with somebody he's here with another person leave all that give yourself some time and i am very thankful for coming to qatar because i gave myself a lot of time to think and understand of what do i want is the most important thing give yourself some time stay away from those friends because they will be coming to tell you oh i thought you were na nani okay yesterday you know we invited him and he came with nani isn't those na kwanga zile mob eh you know i saw him this morning he was driving somebody give yourself time lay back stay out stay out for a while don't don't be in constant communication with people who are both parties like jikalisha jipeta give yourself time number four is claim ownership and take full control of your life because sometimes in a relationship where they actually think you can never enjoy life if you're not with them you can never move on or be successful without them Yeni, there is nothing literally you can do if you're not with them and you can never be happy because they make you happy no you make yourself happy so that will be our number four number five is take a chance take a chance what do you mean we don't mean like move on immediately apana take a chance is release everything that is in you cry moon do anything that will help you to move on and take that chance jambia ah Kwani, I can stay without him. Let's see what will happen if I'm not with even without him or her. It's okay. Nisawa. Number six is what we always talk about. Take care of you. Pamper yourself. That is the time that you have your freedom now. You can hang out with your friends. You can do what you love. If it is reading, if it is traveling, just take good care of yourself. Because in a relationship, sometimes we tend to forget ourselves. And we take care of the other person more than we do take care of ourselves. And some of these people are not appreciative. So take care of yourself. And in a relationship, don't ever forget there is you. There was you before there was us. So even if there is us, there will always be me. And you also. So we have to take care of each other. Or I'll take care of myself and forget about everything. Guys, kindly subscribe. Number seven will be stop pointing fingers at the other person. What we do in a relationship when we come out of a relationship you are bitter you know your heart and uh, you will never accept your mistakes it akwa he did this he did that she did this she did that you know if she didn't do this we'll still be together if he didn't do that we'll still be together stop pointing fingers accept your own mistakes like for me i was so bitter and i used to tell people unajua alikuwa anafanya hivi you know he used to do this imagine i got him all these things is something you like accept your mistakes i accepted my own mistakes and that is the time that i was like fully and ready to move on because i accepted what i did myself what i brought in the relationship what i took from it the mistakes that i made and if there is anything that i let the other person to do i also accepted it everything you need to accept everything and just move on and stop pointing fingers that is the most important in a relationship stop pointing fingers take charge of what you've done let him or her take charge of what she did or he did number eight number eight is a tricky one forgiveness i don't like talking of, of forgiveness because i really don't feel like i have a forgiving spirit you know forgiveness takes a lot it takes a lot and it's it's a burden 
when I talk of forgiveness, it's something like I struggle with myself. I struggle a lot with it because even if I forgive, even if I forgive, I'll still be thinking like, ah, you did this, you did that. You know, I'll never forget because even if I'll stay in that relationship, I'll be thinking like, and then now I'll start having insecurities like, what if he did this? What if he said this? What is he doing right now? Is he maybe cheating on me? Who is he? You know, you tend to have all these insecurities, but forgiveness is good. But it takes time. You don't just wake up today and you say, I have forgiven everything. I have forgotten everything. No, it takes time. For me, I think after six years of a relationship where I loved, I did everything. By the I thought I was those trophy girlfriends. If there is a trophy girlfriend, maybe I thought I was one. And it took time because I came out with a lot of hurt. And I felt like I was broken. At some point, I felt like I was really broken. And I think it took me around three years to like now to like to openly say that I have forgiven this man. And actually he was somebody special and he was a part of me for six years. So yeah, it takes time and it's good to forgive. Take your own time. Don't just wake up today, you're out of a relationship, you're done with it, and you feel like, ah, yeah, I've moved on. And even I've forgiven you. No, it doesn't work like that because this is emotional. You, I don't even have the words to say because it's what you feel. And it's not easy. It's not easy at all. At all. Guys, we have come to the end of this segment. I hope it's helping somebody or it's healing somebody outside there because actually talking about it i actually feel like all the anger is coming back it's like i'm not fully 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 convinced that it it was done or everything happened or i have forgiven but it takes a while and it's okay and if you are in a place where you're back and forth back and forth take your time through that it's a, even if it's a he or a she, just take your time and feel comfortable in your own skin where you're going to say like, now I think I'm done. And don't let anyone tell you, now it's time to move on. No, relationship is for two. It's never for the other person to say, now it's time for you to move on. No. When you feel you're ready to move on, that is the only time you can do it. You can never do it by telling to move on. If I question why you are there, you're the only person who knows why you are Let's just leave it like that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the subscription. I am so humbled. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and join the notification bell. Until the next time, bye bye.